Thank you once again, Governor, for your dedication to this facility, and thank you for taking time to be with us at this important ceremony today. Now we talk about the enablement of the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. Important to designate the years of history as related to the ferry service, and we thank David for alluding to that. Uh, now we're thankful to have Lucius Kellum III with us today. Uh, Lucius Kellum III is a general partner in Kellum Realty Company on the Eastern Shore. He's past chairman of the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel Commission, uh, serving seven years in that capacity. Kellum Realty Company is a real estate holding company owning approximately 40 commercial properties on the Delmarva Peninsula. As president and CEO of Kellum Energy, Mr. Kellum was engaged in the wholesale and retail marketing of petroleum products all throughout the peninsula. He was a member of the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel Commission from 2002 until 2010 and served as its chairman for seven of those eight years. Mr. Kellum has also served as president or chairman of the following entities, Virginia Eastern Shore Land Trust, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Virginia, Eastern Shore Chamber of Commerce, Northampton Accomack Memorial Hospital. And we are most grateful for not only his dedication to this facility, but his family's dedication. And that being said, we're thankful that his wife, the lovely and lively Tata Kellum, is able to be with us today, formerly uh, Sarah White, as well as his sister, uh, Douglas Patterson, and his brother-in-law, Hugh Patterson, are with us today. Mr. Kellum. Thank you, Jeff. My lovely and lively wife has told me that my hair doesn't look exactly right. So, <laughs> obviously, I came in at the wrong time. <laughs> I got a call from Jeff about uh, 10 days ago, and he said, uh, I just want to let you know that the, the weather for Monday the 14th looks beautiful, and for uh, Wednesday the 16th looks beautiful, but it looks terrible for the 15th. I said, well, you know, that's the best news I've ever heard, because I've never seen a 10-day forecast yet that was right. <laughs> and it just goes to show you that, once again, I'm wrong. <laughs> uh, I had a... Uh, I heard something years ago that I've just never forgotten, and I've sort of applied it off and on when it, when it served my purpose. And the saying is that knowledge is that a tomato is a fruit. Wisdom is that you don't put the tomato in a fruit cocktail. <laughs> and I've always thought about that because uh, there is a difference. And what I'm gonna do briefly is to go through the knowledge part and bring you through the transactions that happened to allow the uh, bridge tunnel to be built and then talk about some of the wisdom that I thought was behind that. In 1954, the General Assembly created the Chesapeake Bay Ferry District and its commission and gave them the authority to acquire the Virginia Ferry Corporation through bonding, which was done. In 56, the General Assembly gave the, author the authorization to the Commission to study the feasibility of a fixed bay crossing and if it proved possible to have the authority to finance and build the crossing. Within a short time, the Commission had employed consulting engineers, traffic engineers, and financial consultants. By 1958, the consulting engineers concluded that the crossing could be built and the traffic engineers said the bond issue could be financed through tolls. The engineers and the financial advisors determined that the bond issue of $200 million would have to be floated to finance a project. And as a result, the largest bond issue in Virginia's history, with no tax money, was negotiated. The, board, uh, the bond issue was ready to go to market at the fall, in the fall of 1958, but the sale had to be postponed because of the declining bond market. Obviously, this was a blow to everybody. Uh, I'm reminded that uh, years ago, I, uh, I was to say that I was an unmotivated student was probably an overstatement. <laughs> and I remember my uh, grandfather's name was, was Ralph. Right. And uh, I remember my father and my grandfather sitting on the porch talking, and I was not there, but I was close by, and I was 
could hear their conversation. And my, my father would say, Ralph, I tell you what, I'm going to get that boy through school if it's the last damn thing I ever do. <laughs> and he finally did. And the only other time I heard him use that phrase was uh, after the bond market went down, people were very discouraged, and the fear, the, the fear with a lot of people was that they'd never get the opportunity to do it again. And I was home, and my father was talking to somebody on the phone, and he was bemoaning the fact that we'd probably missed our chance and it would never happen. And he said, I'll tell you what, we will get that bond that bond fund through there. We will get it financed if it's the last thing we do. Which to me means that he thought if he could get me through school, then he could get the bond issue. <laughs> and true enough, on August the 1st, 1960, the commission met with the underwriters to sign the purchase contract. And in early September that year, the bonds were turned over to the investment bankers for delivery to the investors. And minutes later, the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel Commission issued orders to begin construction. Now that's the knowledge, and it seems to me the wisdom factors sometimes get lost in the shuffle. Vision, patience, relationship building, and persistence. Today I want to recognize the audacity to envision a 20-mile physical connection between Virginia Beach and Norfolk to the eastern shore to have the patience to take one step at a time in order to allow as many people as possible to share the vision. The governor, the general assembly, mayors and city council, key government representatives and the general public. The wisdom to have the relationship building skills to have healthy communications among all those above and the various engineers in the financial community not to mention to smooth the waters when they got a little choppy. To have the persistence to keep the ball moving in the right direction when the many unforeseen roadblocks raise their ugly heads. And to accomplish all this, all the above, in only four years. My dad said many times there were many people who were so instrumental during this process that have happened without their support and their efforts. And although he relied on the support of so many, the commission, the commission was gracious enough to name the Chesapeake Bay Bridge and Tunnel after him. And the most special part was he got to enjoy the honor for 12 years of his life. For that, my family and our all friends appreciate that very much. Thank you.